so we've not long got to our holiday house and this is it here. It's a little bit older fashioned than we thought it was going to be. It was actually a family member that picked this place for us, but it is really cute. I'll do a little scan and show you. So this is the little house we're staying in. Normally the ones we stay in are kind of a little bit more modern, but you know I like old fashioned, but this is really old fashioned. But anyway, I'll show you. So this is the door and I'll show you the inside. We've just been to Tesco. We're just like back from Tesco. I love this old door. Got a kind of creepy feel to it. I love it. So if I open the door, this is what you see. This big, huge antique bench thing in front of you. And then the floor is like, it's got like a little doormat into the wood thing. It's so cute. So if I walk in here, this is a hall. I really need a wide angled lens. That's the bean in the mirror there. Um, I really need a wide angled lens because I'm not able to see very much at the one time. So I'm going to need to get that. So if I turn around here, that's the front door. There's the Vina. Alexander, say hi. There's Alexander, and this room here is probably going to be Mark and I's room. It's got a little dressing table here, and then it's got these cute little windows here, like little old-fashioned crisscrossy windows. It's cute, and if I turn round, Davina's just right in my way there. It's got a little fireplace there, little cupboard, and then another little window there, and then two single beds there. I think Mark and I are probably going to push them together to make them a double bed. It's got a little light here and a little bedside sort of thing here. It's very, very basic. The places we've stayed in before have been a little bit... To be honest, you're literally in every <laughs> single shot. Um, yeah, the places we've stayed before have been like slightly, I don't know, like a little bit fancier, but it's really nice and it's sort of quaint and it actually kind of feels like you've gone back in time. That's the kind of feeling I've got. There's Mark. Say hi, Mark. That's Mark. He's got a mouthful of peanut M&Ms, I think. So, front door again. So the next bedroom we get to is Alexander and Davina's bedroom. And it's, again, very cute. All the beds actually have electric blankets. It's very cute. I thought this house would be cold because it's like a really, really old house. It's actually nice and cosy. Got little pictures on the wall, little light, and then just the single bed and the other single bed. Another little window. And then it's got... One of those little mini wardrobe things. I think it's like called a gentleman's wardrobe or a gentleman's closet or something. It's like a little mini one. It's cute. Let's have a wee look inside. That's what it looks like inside. Some shelves and some hangers. Here's me, baby. There's Alexander. He has been exploding and literally in every nook and cranny. So this is a little living room. That's Davina doing the splits there. Apparently, another big window here. That house here, if you can see, like where I'm pointing, like across there, is actually the owner of this little cottage. That is her house. So we're literally right beside it. Again, it's got the little cute little windowsill thing there. I really do need a wide angled lens. It's not showing you very much at one time. Um, it's got a little table there, and Mom. it's got. Yes, darling? Film you jump. Film you jump. Okay, go on then. Go on then. Oh, I'll, I'll, right, I'll come out there in a minute. I'm just coming. It's got a little fireplace here. Two little chairs at the fireplace. Little bookshelf. This house does not have Wi-Fi. And my daughter is absolutely cracking up. She does not know what she's going to do without Wi-Fi. It does have a telly, which literally just says, I think it's, is it channels one to five or something? She's not used to it. And then it's got a nice comfy sofa here. Some pictures here. Another window here. It's got really quite dark. Is there lights in the hall, guys? Mark, could you put some lights on out there? Because I don't think I'm going to be able to see. So if I turn around, that's the sort of look there. Literally, Davina is in every, <laughs> is in every single shot. So yeah, it's kind of old fashioned, but it's nice and cozy. <laughs> oh, seriously, she, every single shot. We've got a nice little coat stand thing there with the mirror. Everything's old fashioned -y. And then we've got a couple of little steps here up to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, I have to film, sorry, I have to film them jumping. Right, one, two, three, go. Go then. Oh, he's going to take a run. He's going to take a run at it. Quick. One, two, three, go. Good jump. I'm going to do that again. She's Hold on. Um, I know he's, he's been eating chocolate. And in here, Mark is just sort of something in the bathroom. This is the bathroom, it's literally just basic, but it has a bath which our house doesn't actually have. We just have a shower, so I have brought some lush bath bombs. I think I'm so excited about using them. I'm so excited to get to have a bath, and it's just like basic sink, toilet, 
It's got a little heated handrail here. It's just kind of cute. It's nice and clean. I will say that. It looks like really old fashioned. It's properly clean. And the kitchen here just feels to me like stepping back in time. You can see like all the stuff here. We've literally just came from Tesco. In fact, what I'll do for you is I'll do a little, I'll do a little, what do you call it? Grocery haul. Somebody told me I should do a grocery haul. So I'll do a little sort of impromptu grocery haul. I have laid all the stuff out so it'll be quite easy to show you. So that's our little sink here. Wait, I'll show you it from back here. That's your little sink area here. It's nice and clean. Another little door here. And through this door here, it takes you into like a little utility room. If I can get it open. Oh, there we go. Kind of sticky. It's got your little washing machine there, little shelves and little sort of pantry type thing here. And then this door here is another door that just literally takes you outside. You're actually in a courtyard in here, like you're in a, like a private courtyard that's just got the owner's house and then this little cottage. So it's pretty private and quite quiet. I really like it. So anyway, on to our little impromptu grocery haul. I don't know if you can see this very well. We'll start off with this. First thing we got, um, it was Tesco's we were shopping in. So the first thing we got is this. It's the classic cheese selection. We got that and then we got oat cakes to go with that. We got my favourite, which is innocent, I don't know if this is focusing very well, innocent strawberry and banana smoothie, and we got two of them. Alexander wanted a melon, so we got a melon. We got Branson pickle, small chunks to go with the cheese and crackers. We also got some cranberry sauce here to go with the cheese and crackers. And Mark spotted this, I don't know, is it, I think it's like a spread, you know, like Nutella kind of thing, except it is Bounty. I've never heard this before. It says with coconut flakes in it, but it's like a sort of spread type thing so he's going to give that a go we picked up some butter picked up pringles just skills i love them and in the back here oh there's one of alexander's little darts from his gun in the back here we've got some cherries here we have got some what are they called crispy creme i'm trying to find please look at this could you put him down please because if he falls on this floor he's going to break something mark can you lift him down please you're giving me the fear Oh, the, fun of, like the fun of having a big sister. Right, can you guys just stay quiet just for one minute till I film this? We picked up some of these crispy, is it crispy creme or crispy cream donuts? So we've got some of them. Picked up some of these, some green olives. I'm sorry, I can hardly hear. Yes, darling? Yes, you can have that. Show, what, show the guys what you got. Hulk smash! We picked up a Hulk mash up type thing from Tesco. Right, on you go, you go and play with that and I'll show you guys what we've got. Mark picked up these, these are breaded camembert. They look quite nice actually, maybe that's what the camembert used to go with, I'm not sure. And then he picked up these which were breaded mozzarella sticks. We're actually vegetarian, well we're all vegetarian apart from Alexander because he's too young to really make his own choice. My daughter decided she wanted to be vegetarian so in order to support her, Mark and I are vegetarian along with us. It's quite a short thing. We've only been vegetarian for like a month or so, I think. We picked up some salad cream, but my son's only five, so he's really too young to make that decision. So he can eat meat if he wants to. This is strawberry and raspberry. I think these are like little yogurt kind of drinks, you know, the ones with the little lids on them. And then under that, we've got a margarita pizza, um, almond milk. My daughter loves unsweetened almond milk. We've got two of those. I've got some celery. I think I got some dips as well and I got the celery for the dips and we picked up a jar of gherkins because we all love gherkins. Picked up Tesco's gold coffee because I like to have a coffee in the morning. Picked up some brown bread, uh, some tomatoes, some matchmakers, orange for me and these shrimp and bananas my son picked up. And then over here Alexander did have some sort of Peppa Pig magazine which he got these sort of toys from and I picked up just to read this ideal home it's like three sort of home type magazines i picked up them to have a read it when we're here got some bottles of water i picked up they do have some cleaning stuff here um, yes that is all right okay right you go and play with him and i'll be in in one minute this is the summer mango washing up liquid they do have some sort of cleaning stuff here but i like to buy some of my own um, this is glade relax relaxing zen air freshener just because i like to have a wee air freshener on hand. I bought this bubble bath because having a bath is a novelty. I do have some Lush stuff, but I bought that. I'll actually show you toiletries. I do like the little toiletry tour thing, show you the kind of things that I brought. So yeah, pick that up, it smelled really nice. This Alexander picked up, it's a little Thomas the Tank Engine toy thing. 
And then he wanted one of these little key dings. They're so cute, you know, little tea bag key dings like that with the big sort of glittery eyes. He picked up the little monkey one. And I decided I wanted one, but I couldn't pick between the <laughs> I'm so child like that between this little unicorn, pink unicorn thing, I couldn't pick to choose between that and the little octopus. So Mark decided just to put both in the trolley. So we got that. Picked up some salt and pepper because we weren't sure they had any, but they do, but we'll just use our own. And they have a washing machine. So I thought instead of going home with a whole washing, I'll just do my washing while I'm here. So I picked up this little mini, like literally mini look. It's like the size of my hand, this little tiny Tesco soap powder. I think this was like £1.50. It was like the cheapest one. And I thought it'll do me to it back. And I picked up a little fabric. Oh fabric conditioner as well and spring fresh and just a couple of cleaning stuff i just got antibacterial lemon multi-surface wipes like i said the place is pretty clean but i just like to give it a little clean over um everyday value you take your time and good boy he's just so excited um tesco just some little cloths to wipe with and just for little sticky hands and faces i picked up some unscented unfragranced baby wipes picked up some sherbet lemons mark picked up some chocolate russian caramels we picked up some cup of soup. Sometimes I like to have them instead of like tea or coffee. So we picked up some tomato cup of soup and cream of vegetable cup of soup. And at the back, I've got a big jug of milk that looks somewhat bashed. I picked up here, we have the glass bottles of Coca-Cola, six bottles of them. And then we have the dip, the cheese dip to go with the, what's it called? Natural cheese dip to go with the nachos. Oh my goodness, I'm out of breath. That's a lot of stuff. Picked up a watermelon, the kids absolutely love watermelon. Picked up some tangerines for them. My daughter chose, oh, I'll show you these first because then I can get rid of them. My son picked up these foam swords. And he also, we're going to the beach, so he picked up this giant shovel. He's very excited about that. We're going to go there tomorrow. It's not actually very good weather. We got these dips here as well. I just got these to have with like celery and stuff like that. I actually dropped these so they're a bit, little bit sort of smooshed and sort of everywhere. Just classic selection dips. Um, where did I get to? Shredded wheat for my daughter. Doritos here. I thought I'd already showed them. Hadn't. We got some free range eggs there. We got some salt and vinegar rice cakes. I really like the snackajack ones, but Mark picked these up instead, so I will give them a try. And also the Lipton iced tea, I absolutely love Lipton iced tea, so whenever, I, they don't do it everywhere, so whenever I see it, I always pick it up. And these, if you haven't tried them, you have to try them, they're absolutely gorgeous. They're actually on offer in Tesco right now, I think you get like these little two cheesecakes um, for £2, I think it is, which might seem kind of pricey, but I'm not joking, they are absolutely lovely. If you can hear noises behind me, it's them starting to pack the stuff away, I think they're hungry and they're waiting for me to film this. It just says two zingy Spanish lemon cheesecakes, but they are so, so nice, and they come in little glass sort of, and they're just really nice, so I got four of them, so I had one for everybody, and I think, that, oh, no, sorry, at the back, lettuce. Bananas and sugar snap peas. I like these to snack on and I can dip them in the little dips as well. So I think that is everything. So I'll go just now and I'll maybe film again later. So I said I'd share with you what toiletries I brought. I think I might have brought too much. This in here is mainly kind of makeup in these pouches here. That like folds all up. That is mainly makeup. I'll go through all the stuff. Then I've got this little set here of the little polka dot things. Then I've got this. And then I got some suntan lotion, which it looks like we'll probably not be needing because it is literally, there's no sun here. Well, not yet. I'm hoping it gets warmer. Anyway, I'll jump right in and just show you exactly what I've got. So we'll start with this big one. I don't know how this is going to work doing this one-handed, but I will do my best. If you can hear noises in the background, Mark and the kids are playing hide and seek. First thing I've got in here is this by Nature, and this is a night cream. This is a night cream I like using. I actually like using this in conjunction with one of the other things in here and I'll show you what that is. I like mixing a little bit of the, that with a little bit of this vitamin C serum and I got that from, I bought, got them both actually from TK Maxx and I really like them. They're not too heavy or greasy or anything. Just brought a shower puff obviously because we need something to get washed with. I got this because this is literally my favourite toner. It is the Tea Tree Water, Tea Tree Water Toner by Lush. I absolutely love this stuff. Really, I think I'm even less than halfway through it. It's just so cooling and refreshing. Can you hear that? I'm <laughs> giggling. Um, it's just really refreshing on your skin. It's really, really nice. So I really love that. And next thing I got, I'm sorry, I'm just going to carry on even though they're making noise in the back and I just hope you can hear me. Next thing I brought is this shower gel. I'm pretty sure I picked this up for TK Maxx. I did. I picked this up a while ago and it was in my little shower gel sort of stash and that, that was £2 for this. 
and yeah just picked it up i think it is what is it milk and shea butter and honey i'm literally looking at this through the lens so it's kind of hard to see but i hope you can see that anyway showered it smells really really nice mark could, can you hear them screaming and laughing that would be alexander picked this up it is the dove purely pampering and it is the nourishing body oil and he picked that up to try it's quite kind of watery looking so i'm not sure how that's going to work i think i'm going to try this he said he thought it would make a good he likes giving me massages and he thought it would make a good massage oil but i think it's too watery to use as it so i might try that once i get out the shower or the bath i'm actually going for a bath just now i'm going to use one of my lush bath bombs so i thought before i did that got all my you know toiletries out whatever i would show you i just picked up well mark actually picked this up for me it's soft and gentle lotus and watermelon he said he smelled it and it smelled really nice he really is the sweetest guy like if you ask him to get you something when he's out at the shops he doesn't just like pick up the first thing he'll literally like smell them all and smell which one he thinks would be nicest for you he's so sweet so picked that up my daughter's got her own like moisture i've got the shower gel and shampoo and stuff for everybody but my daughter's got her own like moisturizers and face wash and stuff with her i just put this in i picked that up i hauled this from i think about this yeah pound world or pound lad or something and it's just the herbal essence dry shampoo and i just put that in just because it's handy i don't actually use dry shampoo very much but I just put it in sometimes my daughter uses it and i got the again the herbal essence shampoo and conditioner i think this is the sorry i'm trying to see you through this and this is the conditioner and it is in the scent grapefruit and mint extract and this is yeah this is the conditioner and got this another conditioner i've just bought one bottle of shampoo and two bottles of conditioner because i always go through like double the conditioner that i do shampoo so i bought two conditioners one shampoo and this one is a new one to me i have not smelled this one before and it smells lovely it is the sorry i'm just going over the thing to read it it is the strawberry and mint extract i'm trying to do this vlog thing sort of like you know like daily thing just kind of pulling out the camera but i'm so not used to it i'm used to like just setting the camera up and setting it in front of me and just sort of filming so please bear with me i will hopefully get better at it so pick that up and it smells really really lovely and that again is just the strawberry and mint um, shampoo that goes with that conditioner so that is that bag empty this we say i actually got in tk maxx and i really like it it's lovely soft feeling i can't actually remember what is in each one of these so i'll kind of be seeing it at the first time i packed them a while ago and i just put in this it is a little sort of miniature burt's bees body lotion and it is in the scent milk and honey it's like a milk and honey sort of one it's i never bought a body butter with me i just bought this i thought this would be sort of enough and also brought the Nivea coconut lip butter i really like this and what else did i bring i don't usually wear perfume but somebody gave me this perfume and it is the avon attraction and it smells quite nice it's not too too heavy so i thought maybe i don't i'm not going to wear it like every day or every night but maybe if we're like going out for dinner at night i might give that a wee spray so i picked them up and then just loose in here i put in some little cotton buds because they're handy to have and this, I hauled this as well. It was in uh, Asda Beauty Hall and it's the Vitalift Magic Blur. And I have to say, I absolutely love this. This is really good. I think it was only like £6 or something like that. It was like half price or something in Asda. And I must say, it is really, really nice. And it says on it that it makes a really good base for makeup. And it really, really does. Your makeup goes on really smoothly and nicely after this. So I would highly recommend this. It is very, very nice. It's by L'Oreal. I really like it. And this is just, most of my makeup is in this pouch, but this couldn't really fit in. I couldn't shut it properly with this in it. And it's just the Bare Minerals powder, you know, like powder foundation kind of thing. This is quite dark. This is like a little bit too dark for me, I think. So I'm maybe going to look for one a little bit lighter. It's not so bad because I have a tiny, tiny little bit of colour in my face. So it's not too bad just now. But I think coming into sort of autumn and winter is definitely going to be too dark for me. And just as... I just brought this a little pore refining face sheet mask thing i just brought that maybe to have a little pamper night or whatever and these I, this i picked up in the pound shop and since they have not had them and i really do like these it's a lip care it's like a little mask for your lips you literally it's like little gel strips and you put them on your lips and it's meant to like hydrate them and moisturize them and it does seem to make your lip i must say it does seem to make your lips quite soft after you use them so i do really like this but like i said I've kept my eye out for them since then and I have not seen them but I brought my I think that might be my last one and I just brought these it is the by nature this is the same make as the night cream actually I didn't realize that and these are just little eye masks and I just brought two of them and that's that little bag empty now on to the last little polka dot bag so if I look in here what have we got we I have brought this bright pink I just did a 
sort of, what do you call it, like a French manicure thing on my toes. I've just got like natural nail polish on my nails. But I brought this, I thought this would be nice for when I'm wearing my sandals. Even though it is quite chilly here, I still intend on wearing my sandals. Just nice bright pink. I don't think it's got a name or anything on it. This was in a, it's by Technique, and it was in a like nail set thing that my brother brought me for my Christmas. Loads of different colours in it, and this is my favourite. It's like almost sort of neon pink. I really, really like it. And this is the Mint Juleps Lip Scrub by Lush. Again, really, really like this. It leaves your lips feeling nice and smooth and fresh. And the mint, I think it's just nice on your lips. So it makes it even fresher if you know what I mean like you know like when you brush your teeth and you feel nice and fresh and use this and it's nice and fresh and I brought the OPI nail lacquer and I'm not sure what color this is in this is in cement the color cement the deal I cannot see when I'm looking through that lens I'm literally having to look over it I don't know if you can see that I don't think it's focusing very well but it's called cement the deal and it's just a gray color and I really like it I actually quite like dark colors in summer I don't know why I I even do it with like lipstick as well. No, most people go sort of lighter in the summer, but I seem to like darker colours in the summer for some reason. And this is just a little thing made of nail polish. I just literally filled it up from my big one at home and put it into one of these little travel bottles, just a little bit of it, and just for when I want to change my nail polish up. And to go with the sort of nail thing, I put in the Burt's Bees Cuticle Butter, and this is really nice, and it's, I think it's in the scent Lemon. I can't actually see through the scent yet. Lemon Butter, it just felt, smells really citrusy and fresh and nice so I brought that and brought these I've just started using these it's the skin system eye makeup removing pads and they are quite good the only thing I would say about them is I don't think I wear an awful lot of eye makeup or anything I'm not intending on wearing makeup every day I'm here or anything sometimes when I go on holiday I don't even take makeup with me but I brought it this time and I might wear it sort of here and there but I don't think I wear an this, this is a big ramble for eye, <laughs> like literally eye makeup removing pads. But what was I trying to say? I've even lost the point myself. I do this all the time, go off on a wee tangent. Oh, I don't think I wear particularly heavy eye makeup or anything. And it takes me like four of these just to take off my eye makeup, which is just a light, like maybe a bit of eyeshadow, a bit of eyeliner and sort of one coat of mascara. And it literally takes four of them. So the only thing I would say about them is you are using quite a lot of them. So I don't know. I would buy them again. They're nice. They definitely don't sting your eyes or anything, but you're they're kind of wasteful i think you get like 30 in a pack so i'm not sure i might try another one another brand and see if it's any better so that's that little one emptied and if we go over here this is the one i'm excited about like i said we just have a shower in the house we don't have a bath but i absolutely love lush bath bombs and i actually buy them to and like soak my feet in that's how much i love them they smell so good so in this one we're actually just getting ready my son is wanting to go for a bath and he's going to put one of these in his bath and this is the bath bomb in honey, I think it's honey bee. Oh my goodness, I'll just show you. It is just the smell. I can smell it as soon as I opened it up. My nose is not even near it and it smells so good. And that is the honey bee one. That is probably my favourite one of all time. And then, oh my goodness, I've just spilled stuff all over here. Hold on and I'll sort of try and clean this up a bit. These little cubes that are here that were in that little tub until I spilled them all out. These little cubes, I don't know if you watched my Lush haul and I showed it. it's called Movis face, Facial Soap. It's meant to be like, it's kind of play on Hovis where it's like kind of like bread. So it's meant to be like wholemeal-y kind of bread thing. And it literally comes in like a big, huge block like that. But what I do is cut it up into little cubes and that way you can just, it's just enough to use for like one time and it just cleans your face. And I really, at first I really couldn't stand the smell of this, but I've actually got used to it and... I actually don't mind it at all now and I really do like this for cleaning my face it's really really nice so I just brought a few wee cubes like that and I can use that to clean my face and that goes in that little tub I must not have put the lid on it properly I'll fix it later and another bath bomb I got was this in here is the twilight one wait no I'll open it and show you in here this is the twilight one it's got stars all over this smells so good I have to sniff it sorry that's so unprofessional because you can't even see me but I just had to smell it it smells so good the smell of this actually reminds me of my auntie Pamela and it is just the nicest smell she always I know that doesn't help you describe what sort of smell it is but she always smells absolutely gorgeous and this smells exactly like her and I love it and in this bag as well is just this this is like much smaller than this one it's just sort of a little miniature one and this is I think it's called a 
butterball bath bomb and it just smells it's like a much lighter sort of scent and it's just kind of nice and sweet and calming sort of scent so i've got them so looking forward to using them in my bath and for my stand i just got these i don't know if you can see that they've all got kind of smushed up you get a sort of it's like a roll kind of thing of this and it's kind of like play-doh like you can squish it again i hold this in a wash out it's really squishy but you can also use it to wash your body and he really likes this because you can sort of play about with it and then get washed with it so i just brought this from i always cut it up into little bits it's just like sort of one shower or one bath amount so you can take one little bit in but it's got all sort of smooshed in together but that's for him anyway and this i got in a little gift set a while ago and it's just the h2k i can't really that is not h2k if Harrogate, I think it says it's not focusing very well, but it's just little bath salts. And I got, like I said, I got it in a gift set, and I don't have a bath at home, so I thought I'll just bring it here and use it. So that is that. So that is literally all of them. And I also brought, like I said, um, suntan lotion for the kids, but they're probably not going to need that. And I just brought two face cloths for cleaning my face at night. And in here, if I open this up, I just did this kind of quickly. I'm not going to go over every single bit because they're probably bored already. I just brought this. Again, I've said before in other videos, I absolutely love this. It's just really, really soft and I put it on to like on my hair just to keep my hair back when I'm washing my face and stuff. So I've got that. Brought these because these I can use these for taking off nail polish or I can use it with my like makeup remover and my toner and stuff. So brought a packet of those. And talking about makeup remover, I got this. I think everybody has tried this by now. It's like all over YouTube. It is the cleansing water and it's by Garnier and it's really nice. It's just, it doesn't sting your face or anything and it's really nice for taking off your makeup. And I brought this a while ago. It's, oh, can you hear Alexander? I brought this a while ago. It's by Revlon and it's Colour Stay Over Time. And it's like a lip stain kind of thing and it's been sitting in my drawer for a while and I've not actually tried it. So I thought I'll bring it here and I'll maybe give it a go. So I've got that. This is a little eyebrow sort of defining kit, you know, like for doing your eyebrows. I'll probably use the lightest one. I don't... Alexander! Alexander, I can't hear, baby! Oh my goodness, he is so hyper. He's literally so excited to be here. He's been waiting for ages and you know what it's like when you're a kid. It's just amazing to be in a new place and sleeping in a new bed and he's just so excited. Anyway, I literally used that one in the corner and I just brought that. I literally have really... I will have really dark hair, like naturally my hair is really dark. I don't have very dark eyebrows or very sort of defined eyebrows. But this mascara is Scandalous Eyes and it is by Rimmel. And I really do like this. The only thing is, is it transfers a little bit. I'm literally, this is going to be such a long video because I'm literally going to detail about everything. I'm sorry I talk too much. Bought this, bought this, no, brought this. This is very old, Rimmel London and it's a little, these are my favourite kind of colours. It's light blue, dark blue and a little white sort of highlighter type one there. And I've used this for years and years and years and I really, really like it. It's probably out of date. I don't even know if it's got a date on it, but it's probably out of date. Someone asked me in another video what blush I was using and I don't know if you can see here, this had writing all over it and it's literally worn off and I couldn't tell where it was from. I was trying desperately to remember and I couldn't remember what makeup was from but I'm just going to show you what it looks like. Hold on one second, I'll open it with my... I'm trying to open it with my mouth. Hold on, give me one second. Well, it would probably help if I was opening the right end. That might help. There we go. Opened it. Sorry, I just wanted to show this to the girl that asked me. This is what it looks like. So if you see this packaging and you see this one, this is literally the blush that we are all the time. It is like a, it's a baked one and it's like a sort of highlighter type thing. You can see there it's like really, really, really super shimmery. I just use a tiny little bit of this on my cheeks and sort of top of my cheekbone thing but I just wanted to show it anyway because she asked me and I couldn't tell her the answer and I felt really really bad but this is what it looks like anyway this is the blush I use and let me see what else we've got in here we've only got two little more pouches brought this it is the what are you um I don't know lip gloss it's basically just lip gloss it's like a nice pink kind of colored lip gloss I couldn't decide what lip product this is by, so I bought quite a lot. This is a lip stain. I think it's by Rimmel. I'm pretty sure it's by Rimmel. And it's just a kind of beigey, kind of brownie colour. And I sometimes like wearing them under my lipsticks because it makes your lipstick last longer. I got this Nude Manhattan Nude sort of lip gloss. I really like that. I've been using that for a while. I brought this one. This is by Rimmel. And it's just like a translucent kind of pink lip gloss. 
uh, you can see I really, even though I'm not even intending to wear makeup every day, I'm just really bad at making decisions. So I just sort of shoved a whole load of stuff in. This is Maybelline and it's a, uh, I don't know if it says the colour on it. I don't think it does, but it's like a sort of peachy kind of colour. Like a, yeah, like peachy, I would say peachy colour. What else have we got? We've also got this, Apocalypse. You can tell I like lip products are literally my favourite makeup thing because I have loads of them in here. Rimmel Apocalypse. This is like a pink sort of shimmery type lipstick. I brought this because I bought it a while ago. It's from the pound shop and it's just a waterproof. It's by Miss Beauty. I think that's the pound shop brand. And it's just a waterproof mascara and I thought I'd give it a go while I was here. This is another lip stain uh, by NYC and it's just a pink colour. Let me see. Another lip liner in the colour Epic. And it's like a sort of um, terracotta kind of nude colour. I brought this um, makeup brush. Who is this by? This is by So Eco and it is just a little concealer brush. I know like people are really, really into their makeup brushes. I'm not so much into it. my makeup brushes. I literally just use the same ones for ages until they... This is again by So Eco and this is just a blusher brush and I use that for my blusher. And for powder foundation I use this. This is by the... Dora got a hold of some of my makeup brushes that had the wooden hand on she literally chewed them to bits so I had to replace some of them. This is the, I think this is creme, I'm not sure. It's really hard to see through this lens. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see that. But I just use this. It's really, really, really super, super soft. And I use that for my, the, what do you call it? The powder foundation, the Bare Minerals powder foundation. Could not think of the name of that there. And what else do we have in here? Another lip pencil. This is in the colour Spice which is again kind of like a terracotta pinky kind of nude and that's by Rimmel and I brought this little brush I think I brought this to, yeah I brought this to use just with a little eyebrow palette thing just to sort of fill in my eyebrows and what is this this is just a lipstick it was like a little cheapy one but it's actually been my favorite I'm trying to see the brand I cannot see it it's rubbed off this is the thing that happens when you've had makeup for so long it sort of all the information rubs off and you can't see it again it's just this nude color i like kind of natural sort of makeup and this is just a nice sort of everyday nude color and i really like it and i sometimes wear it with that nude sort of lip gloss over it you can kind of wear it with anything and then depending on what gloss or whatever you can you know depends whether you make it sort of pinky nude or whatever and this is just a little makeup brush i think i picked this up at tiki max it is by where are you Fabulous. I didn't even know they did um, makeup brushes so I got this. I'm just using this for putting on my eyeshadow. I thought they just, I know them for doing like hair products but I didn't know they did like makeup brushes. Anyway, eyeshadow brush. I really do talk too much. I'm so sorry. Um, what is next? So um, a little hair band thing for my hair in case I want my hair out my face. A little bobble, like a little scrunchy thing and then a little elastic bobble in case I want to do like a little pleat in my hair. Um, Mark picked me up this. It is the Tea Tree Concealer and it's just a little cheapy concealer thing, I think. And this is a little thing. Again, all the, pro all the you know, like information is sort of rubbed off in it. But this is a little lip, what do you call it? Lip conditioner, like a little lip balm thing. And I got it from Aldi and I would really highly recommend these. This has actually been my favourite. I really, really, really like this. It really does make your lip lips nice and soft. I've heard a lot of people saying good things about... Aldi things and I have to say from all the ones I've tried I've really liked them. This is the Lush Lip Stain and it's it started with a kiss and I got this, I think I might have got this last, not Christmas there but the Christmas before, I'm not sure. It's like a red lip stain, it's basically like that colour there and it's just a little lip stain, you can see it's all kind of bashed. It's really hard to open so the little bashes you see on are actually teeth marks where I've tried to like pull the lid off of it. It just, I like, I literally put the tiniest little bit of that on and it just gives your lips that sort of, is it called like bitten sort of look, like just nice and like you've been out on a cold crisp day and they're sort of nice and kind of red looking so I like that just for a kind of natural look. Um, This is a little eyeshadow palette thing and it is by MAC and it was... A gift and it's just got little glitter shadows on here kind of natural ones and then it's got another hold on and I'll open this sorry about that and then it's got sort of more brownie dark colors on the bottom and then this I have been using for a little while now and I really like it it's the Miss Beauty liquid eyeliner and I really do like this it's nice when you put it on it literally stays on this is the eyeliner this doesn't stay on so well but I really like the kind of smoky effect of this it is by the body shop and it's got the little smudge sort of thing here i really like it it does not have like real lasting powder or anything like the other one does 
but I really like the sort of smoky type look effect smoky eye type effect that it gives your eyes so I really like that I'm really nearly done I just brought a pencil sharpener for like any lip products or eyeliners or whatever and then I brought another little lip conditioner thing and it is the Burt's Bees and it is in the scent Honey Lip Balm and that is literally it that was a long look at the mess I've made here of this bed so I'm going to tidy this up and then I'm going to put my son in a nice bath with one of these lush bath bombs so I will see you guys later bye so guys this is the end of day one we didn't really go anywhere we just sort of stayed in the house and had a munch and sort of relaxed and stuff so i'm just going to say good night to my little babies they're all tucked up in bed this here is alexander's bed but he decided seeing he's in a strange house he wanted to sleep in with his big sister and she doesn't mind at all do you davina no, anyway good night, good night darren good night love you oh kisses <laughs> thank you got it and then he is so hyper I do not think he's going to get to sleep anytime soon I'm just going to go into my bed and read this book called Gone Girl which is a thriller it was on the bookshelf here and I thought it looked really good so I'll say goodnight for just now he is so hyper and I'll see you tomorrow bye